It's the social media video that's got the attention of River Rouge Public Schools superintendent. And so the water, from my understanding, has never been an issue. Shot at the beginning of the school year and recently provided to us. In the video, you can see brown water coming out of a classroom sink. Jeez, it's worse than last time. Dr. Derek Coleman is the superintendent. Have parents or students complained to you about the water? I've not received any complaints from anyone except a former employee. He's talking about former teacher Eddie Heike. The video was shot in his classroom. We were supposed to put the children first. I told, I met with the superintendent. I told him it was obscene. Eddie says out of frustration, he left the school district last October and took another teaching job, but he still insists there's a problem. Kids were complaining, Mr. Heike, why does the water smell so bad? You know, why does it taste bad? Do I have to wash my hands with this water? Several years ago, we made the decision to put uh, water coolers throughout our buildings because there was an employee who raised a concern about the water. Do you see how someone might look at that and say, well, look, they've got water coolers. Obviously, something's wrong with the drinking water in the fountains. I don't think that that raises concern. We should really be celebrated for it. Dr. Coleman agreed to a sit-down interview and when asked, showed us these detailed water reports conducted by an independent testing agency. In 2016 and in 2017, it shows traces of lead and copper in the water at Sabbath Middle School and K-8 STEM Academy. Are you concerned about any of the lead traces in those reports? Even though if it said that there were traces, it still said that it's safe to drink. But according to the Environmental Protection Agency, that is not the case. On their website, they say the EPA has set the maximum contaminant level goal for lead in drinking water at zero because lead is a toxic metal that can be harmful to human health, even at low exposure levels. Lead is persistent and it can bioaccumulate in the body over time. We also asked students for their take. They requested that we not show their faces. How would you describe the quality of the water in the school? Um, not that great. Yellow. When was the last time you saw yellow or discolored water? <laughs> A week ago, I don't want to get sick from drinking the water. I asked the district if we could have the water tested by an independent lab. We were told no. So we showed those testing reports to a water quality expert here at Wayne State University. Dr. Donna Cashian told us brown water does not automatically mean danger. Often you will get color in water that's associated with things um, like deposits in pipes, uh, rust, tannins. However, both Donna and the federal EPA agree no amount of lead in the water is safe. In Flint, we saw a lot of failures of people who are supposed to be protecting us, and we want to make sure that those don't happen again. Here at River Rouge High School, Dr. Coleman ended our tour with a long swig from the drinking fountain. A parent of three daughters in the district, he's adamant his 2,200 students in four schools have nothing to worry about. We've had the water tested yearly. And by all governmental standards, the water is fine. The head of River Rouge Schools maintains they are committed to keeping the kids safe. We will stay on top of this to make sure they stay protected. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.